If you are in trouble anywhere in the world, an airplane can fly over and drop flowers, but a helicopter can land and save your life. According to recognized aerotechnical tests, the bumblebee cannot fly because of the shape and weight of his body in relation to the total wing area. The bumblebee doesn't know this, so he goes ahead and flies anyway. At that time, 1909, the chief engineer was almost always the chief test pilot as well. That had the fortunate result of eliminating poor engineering early in aviation. The work of the individual still remains the spark that moves mankind forward. The helicopter is probably the most versatile instrument ever invented by man. It approaches closer than any other to fulfillment of mankind's ancient dreams of the flying horse and the magic carpet. Aeronautics was neither an industry nor a science. It was a miracle. It would be right to say that the helicopter's role in saving lives represents one of the most glorious pages in the history of human flight. It is like a dream to feel the machine lift you gently up in the air, float smoothly over one spot. Money lost nothing lost, health lost little lost. Spirit lost everything lost. If a man is in need of rescue, an airplane can come in and throw flowers on him, and that's just about all. But a direct lift aircraft could come in and save his life. Our concerns sink into insignificance when compared with the eternal value of human personality, a potential child of God which is destined to triumph over lie, pain, and death. No one can take this sublime meaning of life away from us, and this is the one thing that matters. The helicopter appeared so reluctant to fly forward that we even considered turning the pilot's seat around and letting it fly backward. The helicopter appeared so reluctant to fly forward that we even considered turning the pilot's seat around and letting it fly backward. It would be right to state that, with a successful flight of the XR-4 in the summer of 1942, the helicopter became a reality in the United States. Supersonic airplanes have carried men at more than 2,000 miles per hour and there are reasons to believe that this speed will be doubled by 1960 or so.